Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, it kind of pains me and embarrasses me to have to talk about this with the public, but um, it's directly related to uh, RV life. As I'm going to get to it in this video, this is something that uh, I think anybody would might, might have to deal with when they're living in an RV or an alternate space like this. About four days ago, I noticed a pimple-looking thing. I have a picture uh, that I took on that first day when I noticed it. I'll show you what that looked like at first. However, on day two, it actually had what looked like uh, a white cap on it. It looked like a huge zit. And uh, by day two, it hurt so bad. At some point during the day, sitting on it either uh, in the seat of the RV or here in this seat here, uh, I... I punctured it, popped it, whatever you want to call it, and then from there, it's all pretty much been downhill for me. It's been, uh, it's been an incredibly painful thing that's made it so that I can't sit down, I can't walk without a, a huge limp. The amount of pain is really hard to explain because it looks like such a tiny thing on my leg. A scale of 1 to 10, like 10 being unbearable, you know, I can't take it anymore. It was at least a nine. Incredibly painful. Incredibly painful. Uh, I, I I really didn't know what to do by, by day two, but I was talking with people and I showed a couple people. Uh, the service that I got in the emergency room, I, I, I didn't like. Let me take a look. Uh, you know, I've, I sat there for almost four and a half hours. You should do something to it. Like, get a shovel and plow it out because it hurts so bad. Um, anyway, so I've uh, now been taking the uh, antibiotics and putting the cream on it. Night, I, I have, uh, it's not any better. It's no better. In fact, it's, it's just getting worse. And, and there's still areas that are so hard, like just rock hard. So I'm going to show it to you. It's not gory or anything or nasty. We've all seen a dick. Could be, quote, an anonymous venomous bite. Or uh, it could just be any type of infection, but this should make it better. Come back in 10 days if it's not. I really think it was a spider bite. That's, that's what I really think. I think it was just uh, a spider bite here in the RV. I always take care of fleas and stuff like that. I don't have that kind of problem, but I have seen spiders in here. Doctor, he didn't even look. I mean, it could be... MRSA. MRSA.